You guys know how they look like. Oops. Hello everyone. I decided this bun with a nice clip is a very good accessory for my head. Today we are going to be making some paper clips slash bookmarks. I've made some of them before in my previous videos about 5 minute craft and I just thought they were really cute because I use these large paper clips so it looks like a chunky clay paper clip and I think those are a very nice aesthetic. Gives me the same vibes as tricky clay rings and if you are subscribed to my Patreon you will be receiving these as your clay item for this month. So let's get started. So this is my collection of paper clips. I know my hair has a background. So usually paper clips are like this. These are big paper clips. And because July, which is this month's theme, is Melty Popsicle, we are going to be making little ice creams on top of every paper clip. So I will get back to you when I'm done mixing all the colors. Hello everyone, I am back. I got some bubble tea and the leafy jelly is made of stars. Isn't that so cute? I mixed all my colors. I have the brown for the cone and the three colors for the ice cream. This is my type of Starbucks. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the base for the cone. Let's roll out our brown clay, light brown clay, and then cut it up into evenly sized balls of how many ice creams you want. And then you roll all of them. And then you take each one of the balls and you shape it into a rounded triangle. So to do that, all you have to do is take your ball, flatten it, and pinch two sides and keep rotating it until you have three sides that are flat. So obviously you're gonna have two sides that are longer than the third side. I think we call it an isosceles triangle. Wow, I haven't, I haven't said that word in a long time. So here is my isosceles triangle. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the little crisscross on the cone and you're gonna follow either this line or this line of the cone and you're gonna have to do both anyways so it doesn't matter which one you choose so place your cone on the, on the flat surface and make three lines in one angle three then you make three lines in the other angle and this is how the end result looks like so i'm gonna go ahead and make all the rest of my cones and here is a time lapse All right, so I finished all of mine. So the next thing we're gonna do is make the little ice cream part on top of the cones. And I'm gonna demonstrate with the purple, but I also have pink and blue for variations of it. So the first thing you're gonna do is roll out your ball of clay, and then you're gonna cut it into even sections again. And make sure you have a little bit left over. So then you're gonna take each ball and you're going to flatten it out. Doesn't even have to be a circle, just flatten it out into some type of round shape. And then you're going to take your finger and you're going to press down on one side so it becomes like a little dome that is the ice cream looking part. And you are going to place it right on top of the cone, like this. So I made a few purple ice creams. And now what you're going to do is take your leftover clay, roll it out. So about this thick, so what you're going to do is cut it into three even sections and make sure each section can go across the top part of the cone. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take each strip of purple and you're just going to line it across the cone on top of the ice cream part. So something like this, take a toothbrush, tip of a toothbrush, and you are going to just stab across only the ice cream part to texture it. And then lastly, you're gonna take your X-Acto knife and you're going to do a little swirling motion across only the feet of the ice cream, so only the purple strip that you placed on, just to make it a little bit extra textured at the feet. So it should end up looking something like this. And now I'm gonna do a time lapse of me doing this to the rest of the purple ice creams and I'll show you the purple ice creams. So these are my purple ice creams and now I'm gonna go ahead and do this for my other ice cream flavors and you guys can have another time lapse.
So here are all the ice cream flavors that I made. Well, not flavors, I don't really know the flavors. Strawberry, blueberry, and taro. Yeah, those are the flavors. So now, time to convert them into paper clips. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of them and all you have to do is turn it on its back and you just press in the paper clip. And this is gonna be okay because if you glaze with UV resin, it's very sturdy and it will cover the paper clip and make sure that it does not come out. I'm gonna go ahead and do it for the rest of the ice creams. And one thing you might notice is that the front part might be flattened a little, but that's okay. All you have to do is redo the crisscrosses if you have to and scribble over the feet of the ice cream again if it is a little bit flattened. And then in case your paper clips are not oven safe, you can go ahead and take them out and you already have the imprint after you take it out so all you have to do after you finish baking everything is to stick it back in. So all you have to do is go ahead and bake this in the oven according to the directions on your clay package and then glaze with UV resin. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I will show you guys the final product. <laughs> 